What's up guys, David here, and today I'm gonna show you a little known trick to closing all the apps on your iPhone at the same time. Now, those of you who have Android or have had Android in the past, you know that a lot of Android phones have an option to, to simply press a button and it closes all of your apps instead of having to do it one by one. Well, no such option actually exists on the iPhone, and that's the reason for today's video. So, prior to the trick, you only have two options. One is you could swipe away apps one by one like that, which depending on how many apps you have opened up, it can take a really long time. And the second option is of course to restart the phone. So you power it off, power it back on, and technically those apps get cleared out of RAM, which again is time consuming. Now, I don't often close my apps on my iPhone because usually iOS does a really good job at handling them and actually it makes the phone go faster. So for example, I have TrueSkate here open, clicking on it, you can see it opened up right away. Now if I was to close that app right there and then reopen it again, you can see it takes longer. So why would you wanna slow your phone down? And the second thing is also this affects battery life as the processor has to reload the app and because it has to reload the app, it uses battery to do that. So you're actually wasting battery life as well. I honestly wouldn't close my apps if you don't have to, but there are certain situations where it makes sense. Without any further ado, let's figure out how to actually do it. So it's actually really simple. All you have to do is press and hold on the power button here, and you wait until you get the little slide to power off screen. Now you don't actually touch the screen, you actually just press and hold on the home button, so I'll go ahead and do that, and hold it for a few seconds until the phone takes you back to the home screen. And there you go. All right, so just to show you that it worked, I'll go ahead and have all these games opened up in the background. So I have Smash Hit open, I have True Skate open, I've got Angry Birds open, as you can see, and I have got Asphalt 8 open. So I'll go ahead and do the trick again. Press and hold on the power button. Press and hold on the home button. And then just wait. And voila. So now I'll go ahead and jump back into Asphalt 8. As you can see, the app is reloading. Same thing goes for TrueScape. Again, has to reload the app. Now one thing I do have to warn you about is it does show up in the recent app list. So when you do the trick to close all the apps, it's still gonna show up here. If you have OCD, it's not necessarily gonna take care of that problem. It acts more or less like a restart. When you restart your phone, the apps still technically show up even though they've been cleared out of RAM. But I have another tip for you guys. You guys probably already know this one, but just in case you don't, if you do have OCD and for whatever reason, you wanna close all of the apps and get them out of the recent app list, you can do so a lot quicker than one, doing it one by one with three fingers. So what I like to do is I line up three apps on the screen like this so I could have three of my fingers uh, fit on screen and then I just swipe up. So am I doing it? Nope, there you go. So it's not the easiest thing to do, but once you do it, you can actually close your apps a lot faster. So that is pretty much it for me in this video. That's how you close all of your apps with just one step. And a little bonus tip for you guys, you can swipe away apps three at a time instead of just one. But uh, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Subscribe for more tech videos just like this. And as always, I'll see you in the very next episode.